Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, today I have another episode of Games Got Recently. Okay, first off, we'll start out with Beautiful Joe 2. This one I got brand new. Um, at Game Crazy for $10. Brand new, comes with a manual and the little extra game cards and all that. And the disc. Brand new for $10. Not too bad. Next thing I got at GameStop is Oddworld Munch's Odyssey. Got this one for $2.99. Which is a pretty good price, I think. Um, considering it's supposed to be a pretty good game. And I hear it's uh, uh, one of the first Xbox titles to come out, one of the first Xbox launch titles, and I also, I uh, picked up uh, Odd World Stranger's Wrath a little while ago, and that one's fairly cheap too, so I decided to get this one since it was only three bucks, so you know, it was a steal. Alright, next game I got Jack 3. Like I said, um, on the forums and everything, I'm trying to start uh, collecting platformers such as uh, Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper and all that and I already have Jack 2 so I picked up Jack 3 this is a non-greatest hits version which is what I've been looking for with the booklet and I finally found one with the booklet so this one was a uh, $10 I think I could have found it cheaper if I would have waited and everything else but I just decided to get it then Another game I got was PN03, product number 03, for the GameCube. Now this game is, uh, back in 2003, it was part of Capcom's Capcom 5 games that were supposed to be coming out for the GameCube exclusively, which included uh, Dead Phoenix, which was never released, and never got through with it, whatever. Killer7, which did come out. But it also came out on the PS2 and the GameCube, which was an on the rail shooter, which uh, got mixed reviews. A lot of people like it. It's got a cult status going on. Um, also, Beautiful Joe, which I just showed you, Be Beautiful Joe 2. Be Beautiful Joe was a. Uh, can't say Beautiful Joe. It, um, it was a good game. It got good reviews, and now it has its own little series and stuff going on. That was also released on the PS2, so. And besides PNL3, also Resident Evil 4 was part of the Capcom 5, which, as you know, got ported to the PS2 also and the Wii, so. And that was the most successful out of Capcom 5. But anyway, PNL3, um, the reviews aren't too great on this game. You can't run and shoot at the same time, and a bunch of other uh, gameplay critiques on this game, but um, I'm trying to get my GameCube collection going up, and uh, I'm, I decided to give it a chance, because it looks very interesting, and you never know. Um, next game I got, this is a 360 game, which I don't only collect Super Nintendo and Nintendo games, you guys, in Genesis. I, ask, I also collect the newer stuff, just whenever it's a better price, because you know, everybody's tied on money, so getting cheaper stuff is you get more of it. But this one I thought was a great deal. Um, I heard that this is a very underrated Xbox 360 game, and it is The Darkness, um, which is a FPS game. Uh, looks like it has some kind of horror theme to it. I haven't played it yet. Got it for ten bucks brand new. So, you know, my heart is very underrated, so I decided to give it a shot. Um, brand new. Couldn't go wrong with that. I needed some more stuff to go with my 360 collection. Also got Okami for the PS2. And, um, got this one used, but it comes with a booklet. And it's also the non grace Hits version, which is the one I was looking for finally found it. This one actually cost me uh, only about 
um, $16 at GameStop, which is a fairly decent price since uh, Clover Studios has just uh, went under, out of business, I believe. So, um, yeah, it's, if any of you don't know, it's a Zelda, it has Zelda type gameplay to it, and uh, you control a wolf or a dog, and uh, it has very good artistic graphics in this game. And uh, you can uh, use uh, controls to uh, paint your powers and stuff like that. So you use paintbrush and all this. Uh, I was going to get the Wii version, but I said I want the original just because collector's value or whatever. Um, not collector's value, but just because just I want the original. I think it's better to have the original than a port. But anyway. Got Okami, and the last, actually, new game I got, this is the last one, is uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. The cool thing about this game, I like how they, how they have the old school Sonic on it, not the new, kind of teenager looking Sonic. I'm, I don't like that one for some reason, I just don't like it. I like the old school Sonic. It looks way cooler. Old school. Anyway, um, got this one new, like I said, and, uh, in case you guys don't know, this game, if you're an old school fan, this, this game has a lot of games in it. Somewhere around 40, 50 something games, including Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic Spinball, Sonic and Knuckles, Shinobi 3, Shining Force, Shining Force 2, Rice Star. Dynamite Hetty, Golden Axe, Golden Axe 2, Golden Axe 3, Street Rage 2, 1, 2, and 3, Vector Man 1 and 2, Fantasy Star 2, 3, and 4. You can also get uh, Fantasy Star 1 if you unlock it, and many, many others. In my opinion, the, okay, to me, I got this game solely on the Fantasy Stars. Knowing that I could get all four Fantasy Stars for the price that I paid, which is Twenty-two dollars. Actually, this one wasn't new; it was used, and this game just came out, so um, it is not in bad condition at all. Like, it, I think it came out a couple weeks ago, but it is not in bad condition at all. Uh, people looked at me and was like, "Who would return this game?" When I brought it up to them, and it was used, and they were like, "Yeah, that's a good deal, man." But with I got it at GameStop with my card, twenty-two dollars. Not bad at all. The disc is like in perfect condition. It looked like it wouldn't even play. But yeah, um, like I said, that game, Fantasy Star uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4, I just got that game just for that. The Sonics and the Streets of Rage and all that, just to add a bonus. And I will play the other ones too. Anyway, got seven games for good prices. And um, that's it, you guys. Um, comment, tell me what you think, as always. Thanks for watching.